Now there's, um, there's another feature built into the system, which is um, something that's uh, pretty handy for heavy trucks hitting the road. And it, you need to watch how this works kind of closely. All right. First, we'll do a normal way in. <clears throat> okay, so the truck drives onto the scale. You notice the lights go red. We have 27,000 pounds empty. I put the ticket in, the little paper, hit the release key, put the paper in, um, the little paper out light goes off. Now I'm going to hit F1. I'm going to give it a key and ID. I'm going to assign it 30. Okay, it does the normal way in. Green light comes on, truck drives off. Okay, now... When the truck comes back, he wants to know what's on each axle. Now, this system will do um, three, two, three, or four axle trucks. Okay, and there's several ways that it, they can be done. First of all, the truck driver maybe it, maybe there's no one in the scale house. He runs out maybe and pushes F3. F3 says I'm looking for axle one. Okay, so he drives his first axle onto the truck scale, and you notice it says red, and then it, it turns green, and this display changes, right? Now it goes after axle two, and axle two is a bit heavier, right? And now it goes after axle three. Now it logs in axle three. Now you can either hit enter and immediately bypass axle four, or if you wait 15 or 20 seconds, it'll automatically time out axle four. So I'm just going to hit enter. Okay. So now uh, I can go ahead and slide in my my ticket, and that was number 30. Enter, and it does a way out, but this time when it does the way out, it'll print what the axle values were. Okay, so I see I have a, a now, now understand that I have a legal for trade, gross, tear, and net, and then I have axle values. Now understand, notice we didn't take the axle four because we only did a three axle vehicle this time. But um, these axles, one, two, and three, these are not legal for trade values. They're calculated values. So it's important to understand that. It's, it's a nice way to get a quick look at what each axle had on it. Um, but only, only the gross tear and net are legal for trade here. Okay? Now I'm going to go through uh, a couple of the, the setups. By the way, I, when I um, wanted to skip, when I wanted to skip that last axle, the skip key is not enter. I'm sorry, the skip key is scale select. It won't do anything if you're not in the routine. But if you're doing axles uh, and you want to do three instead of four or only two, maybe you only have a two axle vehicle and you want to skip the other axles, it's the scale select key that skips it. So the the the, the special functions on here, scale select skips axles, and the unit key toggles the, the red light to green light back and forth. Okay? So if you hit the select key, it'll go to net. And don't worry about negative nets. Uh, this is all done during the calculation of axle, of looking at axles. Um, if you hit um, zero, it'll automatically clear any tear value or or whatever you might have there. So you'd have scale select, I'm sorry, yeah, select is you go to net, you have tear, I'm sorry, you hit tear, there it zeroes out the tear. And then here's the time and date, 12, 01, 11, and then the time. Now from this screen you can change the time and date. So to change the date, you would just enter the month, 12, dot, the date, uh, today's the first, so zero one, and then dot 
I'm sorry. Yeah, then the year, 11. Okay? And so that changes the date. And then you hit select again and you get time. So if we go to daylight savings time, this would become 1329. So I'd go 13.29.00 per seconds, enter, and now I'm at 1 o'clock. I'll go ahead and change it back now. 12.29.00, enter. Now I've changed it back. And so you see it. Now, axle minimum. This is the minimum value of an axle to calculate a next axle. In other words, if the, during the axle on process, if it doesn't move at least 6,000 pounds, it doesn't recognize it as an axle. The reason that we have this is um, if you have tandem axles, I don't want it to see each roll on as being a separate axle. I want it to see one fluid motion. If you have problems with tandem axles, try changing that value to 3,000 or 7,000 or whatever until it gets right. But this has been a good uh, solution to those kinds of problems. Okay? Then delay. This is the number of seconds delay between axles. If it doesn't see, um, if it doesn't see a key press, it times out after 15 seconds. And so after 15 seconds without another axle, it'll say, okay, I'm done weighing axles and, and we're done. So this is a number of, uh, another number you can play with, you know, plus or minus. And then back to gross. So those are all the keys. That's a pretty um, comprehensive look of how to use it. Um, there's other functions. For example, if you hit the F2 key, it'll ask you to print IDs. This will print all of the IDs that are currently in the system, right? So I'll put in some paper, and I'll say, yeah, print the IDs. And it'll print all the permanent tear vehicles that are in it. Okay? And here's, here's a list of the permanent, of the uh, vehicles. Now, if you notice there, it's got, um, these are, these are trucks that either weighed in and didn't weigh out, like for example, 4, 8, 10, and 11, they've weighed in, but they haven't weighed out, because they don't have a minus sign on them. Now, this one here, number 20, has a minus sign on it. That means it's a permanent tear. Anytime you see a minus sign for a tear, that means it's a permanent tear. Okay. Now, if I hit this again, it'll say clear one. So I could say, yeah, I want to clear number four. Number four came and went, and uh, he's not coming back, so I want to clear him. So I could hear four. I'm um, sorry, clear all. No. Uh, I'm sorry. Clear one. Yes. ID to detect. To delete. Four. Enter. Done. So it now cleared number four. Or if I just want to clear out the whole database of weighed in trucks, clear one, no, clear all, yes, sure, <laughs> yeah, okay, boom, now there's no weigh ins at all in the truck database. Now this unit does have um, 32K of FRAM in it, and that will hold several hundred trucks. So, um, in fact, it'll probably hold more than that. I'll give you a better calculation later, but uh, that'll hold quite a quite a large number of trucks, and so you should be good with that. Um, if if you need changes, uh, there's only so much room at the top of the ticket for the name of. Uh, I've got Halliburton Seventh and Standard Seventh Standard and Copy Road at the top. Bakersfield is kind of abbreviated with California and then the zip code, and I've got the phone number we have on record. These are all variables that can be loaded from the front panel. Um, if you give me advance warning, I can walk you through on how to, uh, how to change those. You can change those in the field if you want to. So you can customize the, the printout. Any questions, give me a call. Um, you can call me at the, uh, at the office and they can get a hold of me or you can call me on my cell phone, uh, 818-489-5714. I hope this, uh, Works out real well for you. It's uh, our nice, our nicest out of the out of the box package, and uh, it's a uh, it's a fun unit to to use. So that'll be it. Thanks.